today I'm going to show you how to reroute a doll using a tagging gun. It comes with a lot of barbs which they use to tag clothes, even dolls onto the cardboard. Um, but we're not going to use this. So we're just going to use the gun, doll hair, and a doll that you would like to improve on. Well, this is not my idea. I actually got the idea from a Japanese hobby shop in Tokyo and they sell a lot of doll hair and they gave this idea of using a tagging gun to really root them much faster. You can do this so that you don't have to remove the head but in Singapore because it is such a humid country I will eventually remove the head and let the insides of it dry before I attach it back on. This doll doesn't have bangs that sit down very well so first I'm going to begin by cutting out the bangs. Use a nail clipper to pull out any remaining hair. So now that all the hair is cleared from the place that I want to remove, usually I can focus on it. Yep, I'm going to just sit her down on a chair. about the size of a bun plug and tie a knot at the end. Yeah, and then I'll take the tagging gun and, and insert the knot in halfway. It's very simple. I just take it and hook it into her head. Slowly all the way in. And then I press it. And then it's tight in. So I prepared a lot of it. I'm going to take it one by one and plant it into her hair.
and scrub everything and leave them to soak up the soap bubbles for a while because you never know where the doll came from and even though this doll was in very good condition you know you just never know because it's so quick at rebooting I have three versions of this doll and this is the one that I showed you earlier with the blue hair I trimmed the ends of her hair a little bit and a little bit of baby lights and this is the original version which has bangs but I actually rerouted the bangs using hair from the back of her head just plug out a little bit and uh, root them into the front in the same method and then uh, this one was in a really bad very very bad condition when I first got her a lot of her hair and the part line had been cut out and I just removed the whole part line and rooted in a new part line for her so it's really very much different this way uh, so it's, it looks like a slight ombre in her hair with dark purple moving on to orange and a little bit of pink highlights so tell me which of these three versions do you like they look very different with just a slight change of either part line or hair color 